Syracuse in the home white, Virginia in the road blue and orange. We are underway in the dome. A top six matchup in the ACC. 3-0 against the orange in his career for Virginia. And Lars Tiffany made it clear, he's our starter. That's the guy we're gonna ride. Cavaliers push it in transition and open the scoring. Peyton Cormier. Clear. He's a great passer. And Ben Ware, 44 in blue, triggers the transition with the long pole. And then when you give it to Peyton Cormier on the backside, it's automatic. And Virginia digs out the faceoff. Syracuse still scrambling for the ball. The energy on these ground balls to start the game, something you'd expect in a Virginia-Syracuse game. Broke onto the scene early in his career. Mark got a piece of it to deny Cormier. Cormier scored from that exact spot to open the game. Mark way out of his cage. Virginia again gets the ground ball. They've been all over the 50-50s to start. Sam Alexo trying to come up with this one for Syracuse, and he's a threat to score. Dispossessed from behind. You've seen two trail checks by Virginia defensively. Very strong to start this game. Connor Schellenberger, number one in blue. So good! Stings the corner! Connor Schellenberger! Defensively for Syracuse is how they play the pick game. Schellenberger gets a pick on him nine times out of ten when he's dodging. And he's so smooth and smart to know that he's shot ready. Once he comes out of that pick, he knows the switch. As he'll be the first four-time first-team All-American in school history. He's the leading point scorer, and he did it in less games than everyone else in the top five. He's a national championship weekend MVP. Uh, how do you argue it? This will go Syracuse's way. Michael Leo going to work. Dumps it off on the doorstep, cast it in. Christian Mule pulls one back, an instant answer for the Orange. By Michael Leo. Ben Ware falls, he knows then. Virginia's on red alert, they have to show. So Mule's man comes upfield and leaves him on that backside, one on one with goalie Matthew Nunes and when Christian Mule's one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, as Uncle Ray would say. Uh, when Glory Days was going in the encore. That's the first mistake Virginia has made on offense today. They've been pretty good, and they win it back. Cormier, how good is he? Peyton Cormier blows it right past Will Mark. No one has hit the back of the net more in Virginia history than 24 in blue. Peyton Cormier. What good is the win, right? Nothing. And Jake Stevens, I think, needs to do a better job there. He's a KG veteran. He's been around for a while. Understanding the pressure. Bouncer off the knee of Will Mark. Watch how quick they go off of his dodge. They're going to show, and he has to pass. You see the double team? It's right there. Good ball movement. Will Mark there again. Reading the ball well in this first quarter. That's his third save. Scramble for the ball. And it's gone Syracuse's way. And if they support the matchup, he can thread the needle. Has it here. Tried to thread the needle, and Virginia saw it coming. This is dangerous. Ware is legit. And it goes in. Will Mark got a piece of it, but not enough. Virginia, air traffic control, we mentioned the big bodies. Ben Ware scoops that up, takes it himself. That is Ben Ware coast to coast. 
following a loss. And you're seeing some of the ingredients of what's made them so successful, right? Ball hawking defense, air traffic control, transition goals. They play well in chaos. Double team came over, dispossessed Schellenberger. Cormier trying to win it back. Finally, Figueres digs it out for Syracuse, and now the Orange can run in transition. It's a good check by Figueres on Schellenberger. He's got the matchup. Hilt spins his way for it. Scores! Owen oh, Hilt! Carter Rice gets the ball. Riley Figueres with the check. The whirling dervish of Owen Hiltz. The wrists, the awareness to play off the body. It's Syracuse, 10 shots apiece with the Cavaliers doubling up the orange. 4-2, good look here. Ran well by Will Mark. That was a gorgeous pass by Peyton Cormier. He, he's got a little bit of a quirky style, right? Sometimes he'll squat low, but his top hand is so explosive. You see him make that save. One of the fastest players on the team. He uses his Jets here. Started the season as an offensive midi because of injuries. Had to play short stick D midi. Stevens, so much speed. Sends it back. of Luke Roa. Mark it down, him shooting with the right hand right here because you can see the same torque and trajectory with the left hand. This time he plants his feet. He's got the torque and he is not trigger shy. Notre Dame was a, a game I thought from start to finish the Irish dictated the tempo in that game. told young guys, never stop your feet, shoot on the run. Well, Michael Leo knows he has so much time coming off that initial pick, and he's got no pressure, that planting his feet. And the future is bright for Gary Gay in this program, but they want the present to be bright as well. It's a great double team by the defense. Statistically, as an assist, it could be just the, the initiator of the offense, where that first slide and passes is coming from. That's where Schutz has to be at his best. Syracuse again! Make it five in a row for the Orange! You gotta play in the gray, you gotta play in the chaos. Maybe the smartest player on the Syracuse team because there's so many scrums in the middle of the field, Jay. Much needed face-off win for Virginia. Cormier can't cash in. Will Mark got in front of it. His, and his goals, and then on that shot, he's shooting low. And I think Mark understands that. Hilt on the run! Buries another! A flamethrower out of the stick of Owen Hiltz. Starts because of a Wilmark goal. The way that he's goaltending today and the way he's occupying the goal is allowing his offense to go after a goalie on the other end who is not making stops. Syracuse isn't helping the cause with Matthew Nunes with the placement on these rips. Look at Owen Hiltz here. Owen Hiltz is not a Dodger typically in a six on six set. One of the best to ever do it. You said he's the second best midfielder to ever Hands play the down. sport. It, it, the toughest thing for Paul was he played with the best lacrosse player ever, the best midfielder ever. It happened to be his twin. Virginia needed that. Griffin Schutz delivers. Junior midfielder Griffin Schutz. Yeah, he's the guy. He can beat you and run through you with brute force at 6'3", 225. No arm pads, just an old school grinder. 
I mean, just runs through this check, too. He's allowed 14 straight goals since his last save. Behind the back, trying to be kept alive by Stevens, and Virginia comes away with it. Wins it right back. What a check by Burt Whistle. 49 in blue against Spelina. Spelina's been, for his standards, relatively quiet in this first half. Oh! And we get our first flag. Syracuse, 22 man-up goals behind the pack to the doorstep. Michael Leo, the finish. Dave. We saw a ton of this a year ago, right? The skip pass to a BTB to an easy finish. There's some deception. The through pass is back-breaking on an extra man. Doing short stick defense by Sam English on McCabe Millen. Schellenberger always picks the perfect pass. Millen the cutter. And Virginia pulls back a big goal there to cut it to two. Because Schellenberger comes out of the pick. Look at all the, the white shirts. The eyes are on him to support him. And slide. But he knows he could be hesitant and be a passer. Because all the eyes are on putting the matchup and sliding. Cone wins it cleanly, and a save made by Matthew Nunes, his first in two weeks. Great pass, Schellenberger, Cormier! That's a hat trick for Peyton Cormier. See what he brings to the offense. This is an easy save right to a stick. But what he does is he triggers transition. He's such a good passing goalie that it allows the Cavaliers Passes with precision, never forces things. Hiltz and Noons, another save. This will be a quick slide by Syracuse. Schellenberger tried to do it himself that time. Denied by Mark. Dwan in the corner. And now Will Mark will start the clear for the Orange. Both teams have had success in transition. Hiltz dumps it off. The patience pays off. Matt Wright buries it on the doorstep. The patience. He thought he was going to shoot at first, but then he hitches and gets to the top side across the middle of the defense to become a passer to a long pole, and Matt Wright Fly. His IQ is his next level. Sees through a defense and just understands when to push, when not to. And he's not a pulled out type dodger, but. Schellenberger on the run! You can't do it any better than that! A midfielder, and it pays dividends late in his career, sweeping across. The top of the Syracuse defense on the run. That is a mini dodge through and through. Cavaliers an opportunity to tie this game at nine. Schellenberger, he's feeling it! Connor Schellenberger ties it at nine! He's putting on a show. Do you remember the last shot? It was upper corner. This time he shoots the same release point low on Will Mark. He's strutting and he should be. Now we are getting another instant classic today. Hiltz. The patience again. Noon's got it with his foot. Three saves in this second That's quarter. That's what he does off a save though. Got it out this quickly. This is dangerous. Where a threat passes off Cormier. Usually money from there. Virginia scored four of the last five goals. Connor Schellenberger's been a part of all of them. Two goals, two assists. Mark off his line in trouble. Got it away. The two teams that will begin their postseason push with this game. Bullseye to the back of the net. 
How about the freshman, McCabe Millen? If you're Syracuse, you need to crowd him defensively. He's too fast from a straight line speed perspective. You got to crowd him. What I mean by that, Jay, is get into the body of Millen. Make him operate in a phone booth. Bouncer saved by Nudes. You saw the Went top low. hand speed, right? He made that save off his hip. Big middle, big middle. Schellenberger on the run. Takes the perfect pass again. Everything but the finish. Mark swatted it off the line. And here comes the orange. Hilts. Some top cheese. Look at the wrists. I mean, that is all wrists. You can't teach someone how to shoot like that, Jay, because you need the wrist to do it. Sold out. Look at the body, too. Look how physical Schroeder is. I mean, that is physical defense. Just rips it away from Spillina. But he's got the size advantage. He has dominated that one-on-one -on -one matchup today. Well, I told you, there was history there. They played against each other a lot on the club circuit in high school. Kept alive by Syracuse and now settled down. And we'll, we'll fight and overextend through a pick, so at least I would try that part of the matchup too because we haven't seen it. We haven't seen Spolina getting a pick at X. Teams trading punches in a heavyweight fight. Finn Thompson puts the orange up 11 10. Opportunity for the ball carrier. This one offers an opportunity for the actual pick man. It's Finn Thompson. He picks and he slips. He is so good at that. If you watch him on tape, right, he, he almost looks like he's going to pick, and then at the last second, he exits the pick and he rolls out. A rivalry that seemingly always delivers an explosive, exciting matchup. He's writing another one. Back-to-back -back goals! Jake Stevens buries it! Plays the whistle. Stevens, I mentioned with English play, a lot of reps. But when you have a wing guy that you can keep on for instant offense, he's not racing to get off the field, Jay. He's staying on the field. And now we get a look at the best man-up unit in the country. 23 man-up goals on the year for the Orange. They are one for one today. Not a great angle there. Scoop and score for Finn Thompson. Right place, right time, and he finds the back of the net. They just know how to play a rebound a lot better than an American-born player because of the second chances. Wow, that went off of, of Stevens' body. I thought originally Nunes made the stop. Ouch. Ooh. <laughs> Did you give Stevens the assist? <laughs> Syracuse up 16 to 10 at the faceoff X today. Noons, nice save. And now Virginia can run in transition. They've been great turning defense into offense today. Stolen from behind, Jake Stevens all over that one. And now it's the orange who will run. Matt Wright, already a goal today, passes off, give and go, and Wright wasn't ready for it. Back and forth we go. This guy can go to the rack, and they'll keep him on, too. Picture perfect! McCabe Millen Fast, they're risk-takers. The ball movement is epic. Cormier, Schellenberger, freshman Millen, top shelf. Who at all times has it here, you think? Yeah. Will mark another great stop. That's 11 for Syracuse's goalie today. Battle for the ball. Everybody's all out. That 
is a hustle by Matt Wright. 51 and Wright. Noons got in front of it again. Eight saves for Noons. He's off his line. Battling for the ball, pushing and shoving, and a flag flies. So Spallina gets the ball here. Let it be now. I, and who are they going to call it on it? There's three jerseys there. Oh, the late one. It was the late hit. The last hit, I think, was the one with Griffin Kologi. Watch 29. Watch 29 in blue. Follow 29 in blue. I think him coming in late here. That one, where the shoulders lowered. Looks like they're playing Spillina up top more as a passer, giving him some time to, to set his feet. No points for Spillina so far this afternoon. Here's Hiltz, deflection, and now Noon sends it out quickly. The all-white cleats. I saw him pregame. I was chatting with him for a while. Those are sharp. Yeah, he likes, likes to be a little different with his footwear. Walked over to Dix this morning and picked up a pair. Virginia kills the man up, goes down the field, and makes it a one-goal game. Played a lot of short stick defensive midfield and then had an injury where he's out for a couple weeks. But as a high school midfielder, he scored a ton. 15 seconds to work with Boyden on the move. Passes off Cormier. Mark in front of it. Will Mark's been sensational. 12 saves today. They get the restart, though. The second chance grounders. Schellenberger. What a pass. Will Mark again. Ule, two goals to his name today. Shakes free, Noons again. He is reading it really well. Teams. Yep. So that was it. He called us and, and said, would you, without seeing us, said, would you guys like to come to Syracuse to play lacrosse? And we were like, what? <laughs> okay. You know, because we had aspirations of playing at Syracuse, or at a school like Syracuse, or playing... ...in the country is, and Virginia just got a goal from a Canadian named Peyton Cormier. And the style, the Canadian flair, and the way that... Oh, Gary and I spent a lot of time outside of practice. You know, we took what the coaches let us have, freedom, mm -hmm. and we ran with it. And we would not go home after practice like a lot of guys. We'd go in Manly Fieldhouse, beautiful goal. We'd go to Manly Fieldhouse and work on stuff that, uh, that we learned as kids and tried to adapt it to the field game. Yep. They'd all get uh, buses home. Yep. And Gary and I would run home. That's amazing. In the middle of winter. It was the work ethic. You could argue you're the best player ever together. It's not even a question. And I'll say it again, what you've done for the game of lacrosse and the way that you changed and inspired so many people in the late 80s. What he did, what Gary did, pushing the sport, inspiring those generations from the Powells, then it ended up being the Thompsons, now the Cavanaugh's and players like that. It's just amazing. Schellenberger, a perfect pass again! You can't do it any better! Give him this kind of time. He's got the shorty again and Wyatt Hoddle, the freshman. And once again, what happens when they use the pick game and they get the switch? Syracuse and Bill Dwan has to go to support it. All tied at 14, 11 minutes remaining in regulation. What is going to separate these two teams down the stretch here? Ryan is a high school attackman with a lot of box lacrosse background for an American. Sells the defense on the fake and then gets underneath. It's Gary and Paul are, are the best of all time at yep. the midfield position. Not even just in Syracuse respect, but globally. Roy Colsey is a top five midfielder ever at Syracuse, but there's a flag down. Well, Gobriel took a big hit. Schellenberger scored the goal and put it in the back of the net. I think he's talking about the Billy Dwan hit. So, 
Gobriel comes down, wins the faceoff. Watch 35, slides. That's to the head. Now, the way that the game is being played and how fast it's happening, is it, you know, that's not to the head if Gobriel doesn't slip, though. Right. Like, he's falling down prior to the hit. If he's standing up here, there's no malicious intent here. This is this is not to the head. You see how low he is, and then Gobriel slips here. He slips, actually, before the contact. Like, a, a, a fraction of a second before the contact. Only coach in the country that does this. His man down unit, five totally different players. So the close defensemen run off, and this is the unit called the Junkyard Dogs. All they focus on all week is killing man-up penalties. Can they do it for two minutes here? They're good at it, Jay, but there's layers to this. They don't clear as well as the starters. And if the penalty's over, they don't match up as well as the starters. But the concept, I love it. The buy-in of, of the week making this their identity. I get it. Left the lot open. And the finisher here is Colsey. Chris passing. Jack Boyden behind the cage. The righty passer, the lefty finisher. Look at the placement on that shot on a righty goalie and Will Mark. UVA now is five of their last six shooting. And for Syracuse, the Orange, only one goal in the last 16 minutes. Sam English in attack mode. Can't shake free. Has to pass it off. Stevens. Exactly what Syracuse needed. Stevens delivers out of the Gary Gate timeout to cut it to two. Michael Leo attracts some attention. Stevens on the short stick. The slide's too late. You know what I love about this move, Jay? He gets underneath a lot like Colsey did. Final six minutes coming here in the Dome. It's been an awesome atmosphere and the game has delivered. Virginia clinging to a two goal lead. Hiltz, what a save by Nunes! But he spilled it. It stays with Syracuse Noons. Scurries back to his cage. And Hiltz with some high heat over the top. Tenth in the second half by the embattled <laughs> Matthew Noons. Gary Gate, his team trailing by two with the ball. Syracuse has been excellent out of timeouts today. Trying to cut this lead in half with under 5.30 to play in regulation. Sam English goes to work. Passes off, perfectly placed. Finn Thompson buries it in the bottom corner. And it's a one goal game. Finn Thompson, it's Slip Thompson. He just slips, picks, like it's his job. Like he knows exactly what he's doing. You see him up and down, bopping up and down, and he knows. He's going to set a pick, but he's going to slip it more importantly. And the timing of the slip is what makes it rain. He knows. Will Mark. Schellenberger. Stolen away. Syracuse's defense delivers. Under two minutes to go. The Orange with an opportunity to tie it. This is amazing lacrosse end to end. The turnover, late in the shot clock, Sam Alexo in transition. I don't know how Jake Stevens gets this off. The save by Matthew Noons, amazing. The shot, ridiculous.
ridiculous. Billy Dwan has scored three goals this year as the Syracuse bench explodes. Are any of his teammates in the crease? It's hard to see Alexo's foot there from that angle. He clearly isn't. Watch 48. I think he's the closest one to it. No? That's too close to tell. I think he stayed out. From that angle, it would be hard to overturn. What a stop by Matthew Nunes. I know. Incredible. That left foot, but from our angle, that's going to be really hard to overturn. The other look coming from the end zone area, we get a better look at Sam Alexo's left foot. Three of their four losses have come in overtime. Can they finish this one in regulation? Under a minute to go. English gets free. They brought him in for moments like this. He catches it in the instincts to plant a foot and get to the middle of the field and completely change your angle. You see three shirts that couldn't handle that plant foot. He catches it, he drops his foot to the turf, and it's go time. Staring at a beautiful angle, and the bench knows it. With your rival now on the fences. When that goal went in, 4-0 run for the Orange over the last 6.42. Virginia has gone scoreless down the stretch. Can the Cavaliers find a goal here in the final 40 seconds? Lars Tiffany takes a timeout. Virginia has not lost back-to-back -back lacrosse games since 2017. 20-0 during that span. 37 seconds to avoid the back-to-back -back loss here. Schellenberger, with 30 seconds left in regulation, goes to work. Feeds Millen, dispossessed! Billy Dwan, who scored the goal to tie it at 17. Risky crossfield pass, and the goalie, Nunes, gives Virginia life. All Syracuse needed to do was hold the ball. Will mark the save. Three seconds left. Syracuse survives. You think they like it in central New York? On a day where they honored his twin brother, Paul, and put his name and number up in the rafters. Gary Gate, in year three, gets his biggest win to date. Yes, they beat Duke, but this game was different. They controlled Duke, end to end. They had to find a way in a tight game against a Titan to win it, and they did that. Beating Virginia in this fashion is monumental for the Orange, it's huge for their staff, and it's huge for the fan base here in the Dome. An awesome atmosphere in the Dome. This is the type of game that makes you fall in love with the sport.